once you install both of these you will be sometimes this you might not see this odbc driver here okay odbc driver as a, in the my odbc data source administrator so if you don't see you have to add that so adding that will be like this so to go add, add, click add and uh, and you have to select mysql odbc and ans driver and uh, go to uh, odbc driver and here you can give any name mysql any any name and uh, server that means the mysql server name localhost and user my username is root and password is the one i use okay so you might have a different password you have to so once you add those configuration details so all the uh, all the databases belongs to this particular server localhost and particular username will be listed here so you can select this uh, database you want to can, can you want to have it connected uh, you can select it using the database name and you can test if it is working properly and you can add so once you have added uh, this kind of record will be added to mysql uh, this list then uh, it's just a matter of uh, adding the, this one because you need to do this kind of configuration in order to connect the uh, crystal report uh, into database then uh, you have to actually then then only you have to actually open the visual studio ide uh, so first first check uh, under this first checklist is installing uh, crystal report and mysql odbc if you, if you don't have and doing that odbc connection configuration then you need to select the rip db uh, solution solution so project and you have to add new item And and go to reporting. So if you have successfully installed, uh, this one will appear. If you have installed a my uh, crystal report, it will appear. If you have not installed, it will not appear. So you can give a name. I am keeping crystal report one. So here, when the report opens, um, you have different si styles of report. So based on the purpose that you, uh, based on the purpose, that means let's say if it's a, a table kind of a report, there are a, there is a, a predefined template for this. Okay. If it's a mail label or something with the information, there's a staff predefined or standard information. Predefined. And yeah, I think from an existing report, like I think from the next step, they will ask you to select a report template or something. So we'll go with uh, standard. And here, okay. So here yeah, actually, wait. Uh, 
here the my connection inside the my connection there won't be any connection initially so you have to create that connection since i have created one it is appearing so you have to go to odbc i think both will work i'm not sure about i have not tried this one uh no this won't work you have to go odbc rdo and make a new connection then uh, whatever connection you have created in terms of mysql that means in terms of connecting to database this this is the previous connection i have created and this one is the current the latest one i have created so both will appear then uh, you can go next and uh, so before that i think you can directly select or you can have a connection string so this is connection string is like like you without selecting this one you add the connection string that means uh are this why the, the kind of these things uh, you add the server name local host and database name so there is a format for that connection string if you search in google it will appear so it's a kind of a that connect you but like you like what you put in the code you can have the connection string and connect to the particular this one so we'll go with the system available one my sql name the latest create the one i created latest and here you have to again the password and so once you add it under this connection you can see uh, sorry so if you have done this connection uh, in the my ex my connection list it will appear so you have created the connection now in the my connection list the set of connections will be appearing then you can select the database from that connection database and then table okay this is the student table actually it is coming from the student table in the mysql side so you can add that table into consideration that's the table that we are going to use for the uh, reporting and uh, you can add the fields that you want in the report so there will be three all seven fields i have selected and uh, if you want to do any grouping so this kind of grouping will be useful uh, if you have uh, let's say uh, you are creating a report for 10 days and if you want to see uh, each day total each day records let's say if you are creating a report for 7 days so each day might have different number of records in terms of uh, sales or in terms of entry so first day might have 10 records second day 5 likewise each day might have different records so if you want to have a grouping by the date let's say the date will be on the title so under the title you will have a set of records but pertaining that means related to uh, that particular date and you can have the sum for particular date how much we have earned so in the next day the next day transaction will be grouped so we are actually grouping by Uh, the field so here i don't think we have any uh, grouping mechanism because we are not grouping by anything or else if you want to group by let's say uh, address or you can add also but i don't think we'll add and see later i'm not sure if it's uh, for for the initial step i am not recommending grouping uh, but this kind of thing also uh, before uh, you select this one once you select the tables let's say you have selected yeah i have only one table no student so if you have a, if you have a reference that means you have a co student table course table and uh, uh, another time table or lectures table and if you have relationship between those table i think once you click next there will be another uh, screen coming to let you know how the relationship is made like how the uh, relationship uh, is connected using foreign keys so 
there will be a screen to display that to you so yeah i think since it's the first only one table it's not coming and once you selected all fields the next one is grouping as i told before and uh, this is also kind of a record selection so inside the grouping uh, select a subset of information to so be called for all of this i think we don't we should have a different set of records then only we can actually differentiate so before without selecting this i am going because these are kind of a features according to the basic template we create okay if you can remember this template i think we, i can't do okay. if you remember the template that standard template might have grouping so that kind of grouping and particular the uh, related to that particular template they are showing different set of selection this is a uh, optional record selection i'm not selecting that one and going to the next page where this kind of thing you can configure if you can see like if you are if you have break if you have grouping you can see the first day how much you earned or second second day how many student re registered likewise you can group let's say i'm having a registered date in my system when i whenever i enter student i put the registered date uh, student registered date student admission date actually so, so based on the admission date you can group them here also i'm selecting the standard and finishing so this is the actually all the fields that will be shown so this kind of field set that you will have and you can play around like you can move this one to here and configure the report so that means the designing designing of report under your control though you uh, selected the fields you can delete the field like uh, if you if you don't want from the report or you can increase the size and increase and decrease the size likewise you can do uh, so these are reporting designing thing so if you want to have another section where some other informations are recorded let's say this is student information in detail here uh, you show the number of students total number of students so you have to get the summation uh, those things you can have and uh, so these are actually uh, designing stuff and if you if you go to the main report now you can see uh, students are in the in my db okay and you can have a So likewise, you can configure that this information, student information, student register. So these things you can add up like whatever te text fields that you want. Uh, and so this is a kind of adder that I have added. So this one actually so the title this one actually titles okay so you i think we can change to meaningful titles so these are not the title because these are database fields i think if they if we change it will not populate the record so the title we can change see If you change this name, it will be a problem and you can't change also. And this one you can edit, this one you can't edit because it's database field. So likewise, you can configure the things.
configure the design and uh, in order to view you have to go main report view and main report you have the designer and you can do with some through the properties you can play with the properties also likewise you can change and do whatever can things that you need okay uh, so those are the design purpose thing uh, any questions so far do you have any questions and uh, when it comes to the report the next thing is uh, having it in the system you can create another form You can add another form. Well, actually, you need to create the add the crystal report viewer. And in this button click, you have to call that form. You have to open that form. So yeah, I think uh, this uh, these toolbars you can remove. Okay. Uh,
this toolbars you can remove and also now you have created now we have created the crystal we uh, attach the crystal uh, weaver to the form now we have to do a small coding While the form load, we have to see crystal report weaver. Source. So this is actually now it loads the sorry sorry uh, before this uh, I think uh, we have to add a reference okay that's why it is giving an error we what we have to do is we have to add a reference go to add reference yeah this I have already have uh, you have to go to browse uh, you have to go to assemblies and browse browse in the, the browse uh, program files sap business objects crystal report for dot net framework common common in and uh, 64 dot net sorry 32 dot net where we you will have a references there you have to add crystal decision windows form dll okay that reference
I missed anything. Uh. Is it there? Okay.
right right my problem yeah i got to know yes i have to create uh create a report sorry got to know this is this is a problem create a report and uh what you need to do the selection and all uh, sorry I'll actually select and go quickly. So yeah, you can do the adjustment as you want. So these things you can configure as I told before. Uh, in the, this one, in the report form, it's a report form, the report form. In the report form, you have to select the report choose the crystal report you have to select the report that is going to apply it to this viewer okay that is the issue uh, now in the form load now in the report form load it will work actually no do not need this one also since we have selected or else we can go with this way also you can try this way also this is like report document and you have to uh, see the crystal report path i think the path will be inside some c sharp folder okay crystal report default So if you are going to use this kind of thing, you have to add the report path. I think Somewhere you can locate the default file where it is getting saved or might be in the project itself. I think you can add this path there and uh, instead of this crystal report, you can add this path there project path and you can load it directly we'll try that one also okay first we'll see this one so now actually you know you don't need this code as well i think it should be the report
have to select this one. The load. Okay, uh, I'll show you this is actually the way we have done this in the report form either you can in the report form Wait, my this one is getting full. Wait, my I don't know why this one is on. Let me delete this one. It's a big problem. Okay, I'm creating another form. Okay, leave the big some problem. It is not opening. So you have to add a new form where form. Form for report, and there you have to add the weaver. We were also better not to add food. Um, So I just selected the report here yeah, from the report form, report beaver. I directly selected the report. Okay. Uh, in the choose a crystal report, I've selected the report. I don't know why it's happening twice. So I have selected the report. And uh, so whenever it appears, whenever uh, I load that form, the report will show up. The weave report. So in the weave report form, based on the based on the uh, length and width you set for the report weaver, it will show up. So you can kind of like you can have that tool and uh, you can enable this kind of thing. Uh, toolbar okay in the toolbar you can proceed with the printing and all so this kind of thing you can do uh, export report okay so these kind of things you export report should be available in the pdf as well so you can pdf saving pdf so those kind of things you can do um, 
and if we look at this way, we'll see how it's going to work. First, cell will delete the selection. I'll clear the report source. Uh, toolbar also not required. Report document. Manny, you need to put the path, project path. The same way we did, uh, it's a different, uh, the same report we are going to show, but in a different uh, method. So first one, actually, in the report, if you have seen, uh, earlier I have selected the source, listed report source, but here I am not selecting the source. The source is selected through this code, okay? You can do it in either way. I think I recommend this way is good, I think. Uh, anyways, I don't think there is much different for this because even though if you may uh, programmatically, I don't think there is a much different than uh, configuring here. You can go in either way. Okay, so that is about uh, displaying the report. So far, do you have any questions? Hello, so far is it clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Swagat, can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is actually may don't mute, make it more interactive. Like otherwise, I feel like I'm doing alone. Like it's not the classroom kind of environment. No? So you can. Uh, so it is like uh, very difficult to do. I'm not seeing your face also and. Uh, not much interactive as well to me as well uh, so it's like I'm practicing and this is the way you do uh, the programmatically so this reporting function 
this recording function has one more few more things that you can play around if you go to the report uh, and the so you go to crystal report where you can see in the main report you you can see some field explorers in the field explorers let's see you have not selected some fields and you have not selected in this uh, uh, report you can this now also you can select that field and put it like image path i am selected so if i want i can have it. Uh, let's see let's see how the image is going i am also not sure whether it will show up or not i don't think it will show up we'll see i show so this will be showing okay so you can actually see the images you have added to uh, each student okay so that kind of thing you can do but better not to have this one now and you can uh, there are para parameter fields okay let's say uh, you are uh, you want to generate the report uh, for a particular week so in if you want to report uh, re generate the report particular week you have to uh, you should be able to enter you have should be able to select the week that you want to generate the report right so then if you select on the system system knows what is the date you are selecting or else uh, if you want to generate the report for let's say in this context uh, says only for the students from kalambu if you want to uh, filter out you can use or if uh, fill if you want to filter out a, a student more than 35 years uh, that kind of parameters and all you can configure here so you have to go to parameters and new inside the new you can select a parameter name let's say address and uh, nothing to configure here for the moment okay let's see uh, so you have created the parameter called address and uh, in the report See you are here. You can also add some charts and all, and uh, there are some configurations. Okay, this designing configuration that you can do. If you go to select, select expert and no, this is this is different sec. That that means. You can actually have a different se section of the report, and you can configure what you need to show in each section. And uh, if you go to select expert record, where uh, what is the record that we are going to uh, select from the parameter? So I'm I have added the uh, parameter field there, and here I'm setting the uh, field and here yeah, I can choose is any value or is equal to something or is let's say is equal to Kalambu or something equal to Kalambu and if you say okay so now no records will be generated see so now even in the Colombo address, there is no one. Let's say, we'll remove this. And if you see, you can see all the data. You can see all the data. Let's say, address is sd and if you go to 
रिपोर्ट सी इक्वल टू एस बी देन इफ यू सी रेक देन द एड्रेस विथ एस बी इक्वल टू एस बी ओनली विल बी शोन सो दैट काइंड ऑफ पैरामीटर कंफिग्रेशन यू कैन डू सो लेट्स सी हाउ वी कैन डू दिस यूजिंग द फॉर्म्स सो नो पॉइंट ऑफ डूइंग दिस configuration here yeah, and weaving in the crystal weaver so we have to include that in the form so here yeah, i am is equal to i am selecting actually i am going like is like that means uh, oh let's say it start with starts with uh, starts with address so i am selecting the parameter that i have selected there so let's say what what this the use of selecting is let's say uh, you have seen before when i load it directly load at the values i entered there entered here entered here so if i select uh, the parameter i have selected it uh, when i load this report it let it ask me it actually ask me what is the value you want to enter let's say i am entering s so any value starts with s will be loaded see so actually now the user has the control so you can reload from the new parameters and uh, it's a d so anything any address that starts with d will be loaded so likewise you now actually this form actually ask the uh, user to enter the address and now you can do it in the form itself so you have to go to form you have to go to form and uh, put a text box search so if you actually click this now we have to configure the things when while clicking what should happen okay so uh you have to do crystal report you have to select the crystal report set parameter value and you have to add the parameter you have given the address and you have to match it with the text box one text then uh, i'm creating a i'm creating a method
forget this for a moment. Okay, I'm actually directly uh, adding the report source there and uh, setting the parameter text box one text. And uh, now if I start, in the view report, because it's loading the previous one. Uh, so based on the text you enter, it will change the report and there is no record start with a b a r so if you want a student's name start with this so something you can also do that okay so now you can load the entire thing let's all uh, thing uh, so if i want to search something a d starts with a d it will show the one record okay so likewise you can now actually better not to uh, lay, it's not a recommended way of doing this is not like having the uh, parameters uh, defining here and having the report so okay but I mostly prefer I since the time constraint I could do you keep a different form to enter the parameters like uh, like ad hoc reports so you have a form set to define the parameters only there could be multiple parameters coming in for a search let's say let's say you were creating a report with student name start address in colombo and uh, join date is between august to april this year and you're setting multiple parameters you can have a different form to set the parameters and report you can show in a, a totally different form that dedicated to the report only okay so that way also you can do uh, here yeah, actually we can do one more thing uh, if you see in the crystal report um, as i have added the parameter here so that's the parameter addresses uh, now we can add to uh, another parameter also let's say student name uh, so this is the parameter value and in the form, I'm going to add that parameter. Student name is like, so I'm giving is like means equal, okay? Uh, student name is like means equal or like we can make it uh, contains. Like if any parameters are, let's say I'm adding uh, say only two characters if that two characters contain in the particular name it will be shown so to do that i'm selecting or okay, adding that parameter and in the report design i'm making a little change I'm not designing properly. Sorry for that. And having a search button here. Yeah. Search button, you can add one more parameter to the report. This is the way I given right. So you have to keep the same name, student name. Uh, let's keep it and see.
can you see two set of parameters are applicable now so i can proceed with my report design and uh, there are some problems this kind of problems happening frequently so here i am adding a student name and that is text box to dot text okay if i start the one and in the report and this one is coming Should not appear. Here I can uh, put SD. Let's say I'm putting nothing and searching. Here we have to do some uh, this kind of thing. If string is null or empty, you should not. If not, it if it is not null or empty only, you have to allow that, or otherwise. You have to do this kind of validation. So, if, Some problem with formula, I think. Let's remove this and see.
I should so it can't be student name or student ID. I'm I'm bad, yeah. Sorry. I was searching to student ID and I'm configuring student ID for the student name and it's like Thing is, like you can you actually add formulas. Okay, you can configure many formulas in the parameters. If you go to parameter, no, if you go to report, select report and record. Can you see the formulas uh, appearing here? So based on the selection we make, the formula will be generated and starts with address any value we put and like means it similar to the name same name that we put in the let's say uh, my run is in the student student uh, database but i have to search with the same name my run if i search mayu it won't appear but in in terms of column address let's say my address is colombo but if i put col that means if it starts with col any record which starts with co will col will be filtered so we can actually modify the this kind of things modify the formulas like for these things you can actually search i think for the like we have to do this kind of thing that means like we have to put wild cards we have to put while some wild cards that mean any uh, I I didn't I didn't change the, this parameter. I'm keeping the same parameter name. Okay, we'll change that. Otherwise, we we'll get confused. Okay, I'm creating a new parameter called student ID. Student ID. I'm setting that parameter for the field. I'm not the name. I'm setting the student ID parameter and clicking OK. If I want the further this one if i want to edit this further go to formula editor and i have to put wildcard search so this kind of thing you can search on google how, how based on the requirement you can edit the formula okay this is actually a kind of a wildcard search so any values uh, this kind of a contains it doesn't actually search the exact value let's say if, you, if it says S triple zero five the student ID and if you put is S zero is enough, so it will be kind of a, a can search based on the value it contains uh, in any place. So I'm putting the wild card like this and uh, I can save and close. So see now the formula is got formula has got changed and uh, I can close this.
you can put uh, you can put or also if you want we'll keep send so i'm searching any student starts with s any student id which has s in the uh, student id uh, let's say i want to search students with s8 so that two records will be recorded and uh, let's say i want to search s8 but address i put uh, da starts with the address starts with the so only one record will be coming so these two parameters now applicable so what you can do you can actually test there and you can co come and code in your programming so you actually you actually you're not revealing the crystal report to the end user you are revealing only the system so in the button click you actually go and uh, do this kind of thing student id so all the records which has s will be sorted and address s in the name, student id and uh, da address starts with da so only those records will be so these are uh, this is how you actually configure the parameters based value and uh, you can have different set of parameters or you can have a date range and you can capture that date range and search so that kind of thing also you can do so see if you don't put anything you can do this kind of validation also if you don't have any uh, if it is null or empty uh, you are not allowing that parameters to apply okay uh, if it is if we are internally we are applying that particular parameters because having blank is all not uh, not a right thing in, while searching so if you if you if you have not entered any value that parameter will not be considered for the search so in order to remove that from search you have to have only if condition like this if you have entered something only you are applying that parameter uh, this one also you can do it in the same way to uh, reiterate on what we have done first you go to formula that and create parameters with the parameters name you want and in the report you go to report select export and report here yeah, you configure which parameter used to search which field okay so in the address we use starts with any value we enter so this is the parameter value we are going parameter that is going to be used while capture to capture the value so any value starts with this particular value we enter and uh, for student id we are having like form uh, the uh, custom customized formula where uh, you can have a formula go to formula editor and you can do the wildcard search that means if a value contain whatever value if, if a value in the field contain whatever value we enter it will be filtering and uh, so once you save that you can actually test here so this is for the test purpose and uh, in the you when it comes to this this kind of design you can uh, code it in a way that you want so that is about crystal report like if there are many things like grouping and getting the summation i think if you uh, So this kind of formula and videos are available you can uh, go and see like if you're doing a, uh, a point of sale system if you want to review the performance day by day how much we have earned and all you need to group so if you group but if you want to group what how the formula shall be used how the report can be designed this is very old one don't refer to this one 
there will be there are some videos available uh, there are many videos videos available you can see how we can uh, formatting and uh, how to get the summation that kind of thing aggregation thing that you can see how do you do so here yes group can you see here yes group and added the formula created a formula so it gives the summation of entire thing okay let's say if it's a value it gives the total so that kind of thing you can do that means for the invoice creation and all you can do any doubt no sir okay fine no are you on is see there sir yes sir yeah do you have any question or doubt you clear no, sir. okay fine right yes sir. yeah swagat there yeah, swagat what about you swagat yes sir did you understand uh -huh. Yes, I understand. Okay, so it's clear. Actually, okay, so this I'll actually uh, at, attach this uh, project to Moodle. You can work around. So it is like a uh, like if you want to have formulas, you actually want to see with the requirement. Okay, so this is kind of a contains uh, search. So in order to contain uh, search with search. The value, if it contains in the name, you have to have that wildcard. So those formulas you can actually uh, Google and get that formulas. I think that is there. You have to go through some articles and you can find. Um, so those are the things today I need to cover. So I'll actually uh, send upload this project on Moodle. You can go through. There's nothing much on coding, okay? Only one single page. Other other than that, it's a flow. So starting with the flow again, you actually download the uh, Crystal report and you then download the MySQL connector if you don't have, and install both. Uh, and you go to ODBC, this one, if you, so ODBC data, ODBC data source, if you haven't have a MySQL connection connected, you create a MySQL and um, you add the configuration and you have it here. Then only you can connect to crystal report using MySQL connection. So this is the easiest way and also rather than doing this one uh, let's say i'm going to create a crystal report uh, but i'm cancelling here okay i'm not selecting any values any uh, my sql connection so if you do this you have to actually code it you have to actually code it in the form. So that is a bit uh, lengthy process. You have to go to the form where you have attached that report and you have to configure that report there with the connection and all you have to code it manually. So those codes are also available, I think, but it is a like a lengthy and uh, like a tireful process. Here you can't uh, you you can't do any connection. So in order to do the connection, you actually set that initially, or you have to code it. You have to code it where you are embedding the report to the phone. So, so since where I have embedded the report here, I have to go inside this uh, form in this form CS, and I have to code that the connection and how it is binding and all. Uh, I'm also not sure, sir, but it, it is it it might be there. Let's say crystal report.
so this kind of uh, connection string you can make uh, i don't think it is enough so there are there will be some connection so the, you can view some this i think this report will be uh, much useful dynamically changing the crystal report database connection so here you make the connection and assign the report to the database so you actually the field selection and all come from this so it's a bit difficult process but most of the time it will be much useful uh, but the requirement will be for this kind of thing will be very less you can choose uh, if you want you can use this video i think this will be a good reference how to dynamically change crystal report database connection but the requirement for this it depends on the requirement of the project you do system you develop okay so that's all for today uh, are we having the class tomorrow aryan are we going to have sir uh, are we going to have the class tomorrow tomorrow is, is a since it's only day i'm asking are other no. classes are happening or not let me check sir wait sir for me also it's a bit difficult uh, to do but if you badly want i can uh, i can have a class if you want a class i can have a class because i'm not uh, since you three people are a bit consistent like i don't know why others are not you know, making like this will be a much useful thing for the system i think in my perspective if you are since you haven't done any reporting in java also uh, this might be a new thing and it will be a useful thing for your project as well so if they are missing an uh, important lesson like this i i'm also a bit worried like i'm spending my hours and that you only you three only be consistent on the classes and since even those class that joined later he is is at least listening and seeing are you using the laptop so are the other phone are you using the computer or for the phone or phone we have class tomorrow sir do we have yes sir ah okay okay then we'll do so better like if you uh if you go if you if you go through all the things and like if you have doubt you can ask me okay i think i have covered the most of the things only one thing it's a garbage collector and all so small small thing to so actually theory uh the garbage collector so this those things are actually much not needed also uh, if you have questions you go through the slides and uh, throw me okay so then i can will be a kind of a revision session or will be having a question and answer session tomorrow okay uh swagat so Are you using a laptop or phone? A uh, phone, sir. Phone. Mobile phone. Sir. Can you see the? Can you see? Could you see the this one display? Clearly. Yeah. My display. Okay. My yeah. Okay. Okay. Then fine. Okay. See you then, everyone. Thank you. Okay. Bye.